Hello, I am Kat Woods. Welcome back to my channel. I'm going to do a review slash process video um, in my Bloom Bible. I absolutely love this Bible. It is the perfect Bible just to stick in your purse or if you just want to grab your wallet, your phone, and just take it in hand. I mean, it's just, it's that perfect size. It's really thin, so you don't have, like, I like my Chunky Monkeys, but sometimes they're a bit hard to carry. If, like, like I said, if you just want to just grab your Bible, your phone, and then just walk out, you know, it's, it's, this Bible is kind of pretty amazing for that. This is a six and a half inches long and four and a half inches wide. Yeah. And then I do believe it's like an inch. Yeah, it's about an inch thick. So it, it is, it's a thin, it's a thin Bible. So I am a pack rat. It, my Bible no longer fits in its Bible because I blew it up, but this is the Bible. It is the new international version. This was a sweet blessing from my sweet, my sweet sister, Connie. It is a Sondervan. And let me share. The IMB number for those of you who are interested in this amazing Bible. Now, I love the two daisies. Now, this is the Bloom Collection, so there are a lot of these Bibles with different flowers at the on the cover. But these ones are perfect, and I'm so, so happy that she got and picked me these ones. Because Daisy is my, um, like the flower for April, and that's when my birthday is. They have this beautiful white stitching all around the Bible and there is also the IMB number so if even if I miss or throw away the Bible I still have it that's good to know it has silver gilding with this beautiful satin ribbon I love 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 this ribbon it's satin on both sides and as you can see my garden is growing now, I did watch my sister Emma's video today about her um, her little mini Bible, and she talks about moments with God, because we don't always have a lot of time just to study, but to come into a mini Bible and just spend a couple of minutes, how she says, with a cup of tea and time with God, it is precious. So, for the longest time, I when I worked in my mini Bibles, I really don't cover up my words. So that is really hard to do. And I have a collection. Let me share with you here. I have quite the collection of little minis. So if I pick one just to cover up the words, to be free, just, you know, have fun with it for the quick five minutes, not worrying about, oh, the words are going to get covered up so I won't be able to read it. I am really thankful, Emma, for you sharing your bravery and just letting it all go and just be creative. Because I can always go to another Bible and read it if I want to know what that verse says. So thank you. Thank you, Emma, for inspiring me and helping me just push through that fear of covering up the words. This is the Bible I'm going to do it in because this Bible is I use for blooming. So I have, oh yeah, this is the sister that sent it to me, the day that she sent it, and my perfect little quote. I did stick my word of the year here, and I'm going to pop on um, random stickers. This is from Emma, you know, just stickers that I feel help, you know, understand and explain Bloom. If you're looking at this background, I do have, if you look at my playlist, Tips, um, st like stamping tips, how-tos, all different kinds. Just check out my playlist and you will find how I got that in my Bible. So this font size is really small. So for those of you who don't like small print and small Bibles, I will not recommend this Bible to you. It does not come in large print. So, I mean, I could still read it just fine. But for those of you who have a little bit harder time with this I, I don't recommend I do believe this is about a six font a six size font but don't hold me you know to that for sure I'll share what I have done already so for the most part everything that I have done up until this point I've made sure I could pretty much read you know 
the, the words. Like even if I covered up one or two words out of a sentence, I could still pretty much read it. But doing that, I really limit myself to what I'm able to do in a Bible. So I love my tippins because I can always move them. This is a page I dedicated to my sister, Rebecca. It is a two column and you get little footnotes at the bottom. I do, I think this is the page. This may not be the page, but I do have a process video where I showed how to do the card technique, but I don't think that's the page. I just do a lot of those, the card technique, because it's super easy. Here, I was playing around and I just drew a little cup. Added some stickers. Some sticky notes. Now I may just come back and I'm going but the next process video, so make sure you do come back. I'm going to show you how I get my background on um, you know these Bible pages because I get asked that a lot, like how do you do your background? How do you turn your pages all white, you know, all, not white, <laughs> how do you turn your pages all pink, all purple? So I'm going to share how I did that. But I did just want to share a little bit of what I did with this Bible. This is again acrylic paint and the card technique. So if you have not checked out that video, please go through my playlist. Now these are stickers. They're transparent stickers. Another tipping. And I love these Kane Company borders. You can just, you cut them down to size of the page, you can put them on top, but I use them as, you know, um, just part of my garden. This really looks like a, bar a Bible garden when you do that. So, and I love the little ladybugs. They're just so cute. This is the, the process video that I have. So I will go ahead and leave it in the link below. So make sure you follow it if you like to know how I got this. Got this look. This is from a book. I just cut it out. Add tape right here or glue tape. I'll use my glue runner. This is my own writing, my own artist work, I could say, because I drew it. Added a couple of stickers. That's me. Not that. If you want to know who, what I look like, there you go. <laughs> And I love these butterfly stickers. So I like sharing these flip throughs of what I've done just to help give you ideas on what you can do with yours. These are stamps. All of these are different little stamps. I just went back and used my Prismacolor color pencils and colored them. Play around with your stamps on your last page because you will get bleed through with some of them. my butterflies that pop out of my page. I feel like there's another one through here. Oh no, it's just Brady. Now this is a doily that I've added to both sides. So I just glued it down here and on this other side. So I should come back and journal this page. Another one of those Kane Company bordering. This is Bloom. Now these are the flowers I love doing. I add them in all of my Bibles.
this right here has to be one of my favorite pages in this book or in this Bible. So I get my 3D little butterfly where you can just, if you wanted to take a picture of it, these little leaves, or leaves, these little leaves, these little wings pop up. And then they lay flat as you've seen. This is a happy mail, not happy mail, happy planner stickers all through here. All of these are stickers. Washi tape, a tip in with a stamp on it. And this stamp comes with this little girl. And I just colored her in. She's pondering on the word of God. That's my favorite, favorite scripture. Second Peter's 3.18. My phone will focus on it. You guys can read. Ooh, read it. There we go. Love that. And I do believe that is it. Yeah, that's all. So that is the end of this cute little bloom Bible. So if you would like to see how I add a little process video on, um, getting color and putting color down on your pages please make sure to come back and check out my video okay remember be a creative tool in your father's art box today and i will talk to you all later bye